who could forget the infamous socks on C.S. routine. Part of me was hoping they would bring it out for their final tour stop in Perth, but then again, they are men in their mid-50s now, I guess nobody needs to see that anymore. Warmed up by George Clinton, the eclectic godfather of funk who surely can fill venues in his own right, Flea, lead singer Anthony Kiedis, guitarist Josh Klinghoffer and drummer Chad Smith took us on a meandering tour through their most celebrated albums, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, Stadium Arcadium, Californication and The Groundbreaking Mother's Milk. Bassist Flea hasn't lost any energy and still slaps the bass just as hard. Credit. Duncan Barnesman of Few Words, the quartet let the music do the talking, with just a hearty, hello mother f***ers, and a quick goodbye the only crowd interaction. Not that the Perth mosh pit gave them much. An incredible flea solo set the scene for Around the World before leading into the Zephyr song. While Flea remains my star of the night, frontman Kiedis has lost none of his prowess, neither in vocal or physical performance. Ready to get to work in an orange jumpsuit, drummer Chad Smith's subsequent solo very nearly blew me off my plastic chair before the band set into Californication, a definite crowd pleaser. Dark Necessities, Hey and Nobody Weird Like Me followed, which were more for the die-hard fans, but gave the band an opportunity to pay tribute to their funky roots. But fans were swiftly brought back with Snow, which is my four-year-old's absolute favorite song in the universe, and arms started waving again. As it was time for Suck My Kiss, Kiedis and Flea's shirts were well and truly off before they launched into their breakthrough hit Under the Bridge. Yes, cheesy to some, but that song, played live by this formidable outfit, still gave me goosebumps all the back to when growing up in an industrial German town felt just like downtown LA, energy up, the quartet jumped straight into by the way before the stage darkened and they had the crowd begging for more. Thank the lord they played give it away, I don't think I could have handled it if they didn't, bringing out the whole tour ensemble, George Clinton and all, to lift the last song of their last show, to an ecstatic finish.